Okay, this is a real quick way to show you how to get the lights in AutoCAD architecture to mask the grid. In this case, I've got a grid turned on. And if you look at my drawing, I'm actually in the reflected screen display. I come over to my tool palette. There's a tool down here called the Content Browser on the Design tab. If you select this, you'll get another dialog. It comes up. Make sure this is going to work. Come over to Electrical. Lighting, oops, fluorescent, and you find the 2 by 4 emergency, and you want to pick the masking block. So right-click on this and insert it in the drawing. Once I get that in the drawing, I just snap it to the grid, place a few of them in here in the grid, and I've got them located. Now, there's a couple of key things you want to do about this. You want to make sure that they're at the right elevation. I'm going to put that at 8 feet. I'm also going to come over here and grab the lights. And I'm going to make sure these are at 8 feet. That's 8 inches. And once you have them selected, you can pick Attach Objects. And this is where you do the attach to, the, to something that you want to mask. And this is the ceiling grid. So I pick Attach Objects. And I come over and I select the grid. I'll tell it where I'm going to mask it in that current display, and you can see that the lights will hide the grid. So again, you got to make sure you're using the out-of-the-box light fixtures that come with AutoCAD architecture that already have the masking block with them. The nice thing about it, too, is that if you ever move any of these for any reason, they will stay attached to that object and mask when you move them. Let me know if this helps, and uh, good luck with your AutoCAD architecture.